Well, good Sunday evening, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed your Sunday. The majority of the day was dry, but yet we're closing the weekend really the same way we started it, seeing a lot of heavy to moderate rainfall currently across the state as our next system is arriving. Some of these areas are producing heavier rainfall. These are likely in eastern Alabama as we're tracking them, moving into areas such as Heflin, Talladega, and Aniston. We will continue to track this, but again, in Tuscaloosa, getting on some of that moderate rainfall right now. Temperatures in the upper 50s as we take a look across our local weather in central Alabama, mainly going to be in the mid and upper 50s. The though, they're in the mid 60s. Again, we are going to be above average for this time of year. Average is more around the upper 50s, while our high really remained in the upper 60s today. But let's talk about what's happening elsewhere. While we're getting a lot of rain over in the Twin States and portions of Georgia and Tennessee, look at Arkansas. They got some snow today. I have a good uh, friend, a meteorologist in Fayetteville. His name is Dax Clark. He sent me a picture of the three to five inches of snow they got. Now, while we won't be getting any snow anytime soon, we will be getting some cooler temperatures for you guys. As you wake up tomorrow, we'll be dealing with some residual drizzle around the area and we'll be in the mid and lower 40s by the afternoon hours. Look at those temperatures, not gonna really warm up much. We're gonna be well below average even as we barely struggle to make it into the mid 50s. So I'll time out this rain for you again. This will continue into the overnight hours. You may hear a few rumbles of thunder as we have a few isolated storms, but likely not going to have that much instability out there. And as you wake up in the morning again, just a little showers and drizzle are going to remain out there, but will likely dry out. But look at that, that blue there. It's going to be a cold day tomorrow. Expect clouds to clear throughout the afternoon, so you'll get a few peaks of sunshine, but the freeze line is already coming down around 7 p.m., so make sure you grab that hot cocoa tomorrow and bundle up because it is going to be a cold one. Tuesday, going to be warming up a little more, but still going to be right around or below average. So what's your rain chances looking like for the next five days? It's going to be an on-off kind of pattern. Tomorrow, just some residual showers, and then we'll likely dry out on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have another surface low coming into our area that's going to be bringing us some rain. This is likely going to be happening in the morning hours, likely ending at noon. So your evening should be dry and then we'll dry out on Thursday and Friday. So again, that cooler air, it's going to be welcome back. You guys are going to be right around or below average for the next five days, staying in the lower and mid 50s just in time for our Christmas countdown. It's only 12 days away. I know you're already again. Bundle up and grab that hot cocoa. So tonight though, expect rain to continue. We could have some gusty winds at times, lows in the lower to mid 40s tomorrow. Gonna be struggling to make it into the mid 50s behind this weather system and gonna have some breezy conditions. But really, expect some dry days. I know there's a lot of rain on that seven day forecast, but it'll likely just be periods of rain in the morning or even during the afternoon or evening hours.